what is up everybody welcome for the first time or back to another dlj works video and this is a follow-up video based on some time passing and allowing me to actually see what the actual benefit of this linkedin skills test is and that's what i'm going to share with you here in this video so stick around for it right after the intro all right jumping right into this i made this video back last year i think it was, i think it was last year maybe earlier this year I, I can't really remember but it was the linkedin skills test i'll leave a link for it in the description or stick around for the end to catch it on the end card and basically what i was talking about was how to pass your linkedin skills test and the different types of skills tests that they have uh, i'm just thinking about this off the top of my head right now it's been a while since i made that video so definitely check it out but as you can see i'm on my linkedin profile and you can see in the tools and technology section because most of the skills tests our program coding so it's all the same I'm, I'm just repeating myself but we can see that i have the css cascading style sheets i don't know why it's listed like this but if you have the blue check mark for linkedin on the skills test then that's what you're going to see right now all right and here's a benefit that i've actually noticed so uh in my notifications i actually got notified about some jobs that basically said i can have first dibs because i've passed the linkedin skills test the css skills assessment so um when i actually first passed this i really didn't know what the benefits was going to be besides it just kind of looking pretty on your linkedin profile and maybe some employers taking notice of it but um but as we can see i wanted to literally show you that there is a benefit to passing your linkedin skills test all right so we can see i blocked out the companies because i don't want free advertisement i guess or any sort of legal things to happen so um i left the end of it as you can see blank media blank loom and uh, blank group you know you can actually see that linkedin has placed priority myself to have priority in terms of these people or me actually being able to be the first one to apply to these positions as you can see you can see be the first to apply you're one of the first to be notified because you pass your cascading style sheets css skills assessment be the first to apply so linkedin and their internal system their database if you're using linkedin as a hiring tool um to for sales to get your business out wherever the case may be whatever your purpose these assessments that they offer do provide some sort of benefit within their system now i do want to let you guys know that there was a guy that and and he's going to be on my channel here in the future but i partnered with the guy um after leaving my previous company and soon just really just getting an opportunity and just being on linkedin just actually posting sporadically i wasn't posting consistently but i did link up with a guy that reached out to me i didn't reach out to him but he actually and i don't know if i can say his name because i didn't really get his permission before making this video so that's why i say i'll be on a future video but he reached out to me saying that he has a linkedin premium membership and because of this uh he was actually looking for somebody that has wordpress skills that has um some you know coding design skills with css who's has some experience and, and he said my name was at the top of the list I, I kid you not i'm not bsing you or or trying to sit up here and boast and make myself look bigger than what i actually am um i'm not the the most skilled programmer or anything like that so i don't i i stay in my lane of coding design and, and visual layout and, and format and those sorts of things because i like to really determine and dictate how information is going to be presented to a user that's my focus and that's what i had to come to grips with when i actually started working with wordpress and those sorts of things so i don't mess with php too much or anything like that i have but that's not my area of expertise but in any case he reached out to me and because he actually said that internally my name came high up on the list and i didn't know i don't know this i don't have a linkedin premium membership i i don't I haven't paid any money to sit up here and try to uh get first dibs on any hiring process so all i all i have is just constantly just redressing up redoing my linkedin profile making it as appealing as presentable to anybody who's going to look at it as much as possible taking these skills assessments and i was going to take the javascript one but i just haven't really cared to to be honest with you and i'm doing other stuff i have plenty of projects and plenty of things that i'm actually doing right now so um, and i'm actually back in education but i haven't stopped doing the web design um as a second career i have not stopped doing it at all but anyway i just wanted to share this video with you to let you know that there is a huge benefit to taking the linkedin skills test and this is a a literal outcome 
this is social proof some evidence and that's what I wanted to provide in this video so make sure that you definitely if you're on LinkedIn and you're an aspiring program or whoever you are you take advantage of their systems and their leads that you can as much as possible as well that's it for this video like share subscribe please stick around if you stayed this long check out the video about the LinkedIn skills assessment and I will see y'all in the next one God bless y'all